Hi everyone, back again. So today I'm going to show you the car. It's uh, pretty much finished other than uh, doing some settings uh, in the motor controller. It's, it moves and drives and as far as that goes, but I'm just trying to, I want to get it, uh, what do you call it, perfect as far as that goes. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So I'll be back with you in a few seconds. So here's the car, pretty much uh, all buttoned up as far as that goes. Here's the uh, charge port. Nice. Auto open. That's pretty sweet. So here's the wiring in the motor. In this area, I have a piece of uh, plexiglass. Well, it's not pe plexiglass. It's actually poly. So that goes in here to cover the motor, and that way if I go to shows or if I go to a show and people say so what does it take to build one I can take and lift up the carpeting and show them the motor all the connections and what it takes to wire one up back here okay so that's so that's that part here's a charger it's a 10 amp charger uh, 400 volts I got that from uh, Thunderstruck EV uh, it seems to work fine I just charged it up it uh, went up and went to full charge so I'm pretty jazzed the uh, you have to if you're gonna race one of these you have to have a cutout so what I did and hopefully uh, you can see this is that I put the cutout underneath the car and I even gotta look and see what's okay so right there's the cutout switch to to uh, shut the uh, pack off so that's the cutoff switch okay so we'll go from there we'll go here there's my dash or my console now so that's a three-way rocker so you push it forward the little green light comes on which means it's in drive you put it backwards the yellow light comes on which means reverse and that's um, be caution and that push button is for cruise control all right i'm gonna pull the hood release so you can see under the hood I can do this kind of one-handed. There we go. Oh, I'm going to put you between my legs. How's that camera holding for between my legs? Damn, should have done this before, right? Okay, so the hood's up. So here's what we got. All the batteries hooked up. We got the 500 amp fuse here. This is the DC uh, to DC converter out of a Chevy Volt. This is a EVCC uh, basic uh, CAN controller, which controls the DC to DC converter, which works great. Thank you, uh, Thunderstruck EVs. We have that, we'll go over here. Here's our water pump down here for the, uh, going to the motor, cool the motor. Here's our uh, vacuum pump and our vacuum canister. And I put an extra canister on here just to have plenty of uh, what I need right and then I, I made it simple so I put both the relays one for the water pump and one for the um, vacuum pump right here nice and close because since it is a new build and stuff like that I want things easily accessible to uh, hook up so that's under the hood the wheels are going to be changed I had to go uh, Corvette wheels, which actually they look really nice and um, I'll do a video later on the Corvette wheels and seeing the car roll and everything like that Right now. I just have Tesla wheels on it because I needed something for to be able to roll it So I just bought a set of Tesla wheels the new wheels will be 18s in front and uh, 19s in back staggered with and the, there'll be 19 by 10 wheels. So I'll put like a 285 uh, 35 on the back. Uh, I might lower it more because it's, it's setting pretty high but it's pretty even as far as the front and back so it doesn't look that bad or maybe it doesn't look bad at all I don't know so anyway we'll go back to the trunk for a second so these are my three relays okay this is the main contactor relay okay and this is my shutoff switch that I showed you under the car so this is the 400 volts 
that's going to the motor, positive, that's negative. So when I turn my key on, on the ignition on, on the Mustang, this relay closes, this relay closes and takes, um, what do you call it, 400 volts, goes through here, goes to this side of my contactor that goes to the motor that tells the motor, hey, I have high voltage, it's okay for you to close that contactor. Okay, and then I hit the start switch, you know, the, just like starting a car, you hit the start switch. This contactor closes, gives me my full voltage to the uh, motor. And that's how all that stuff worked. This is low voltage, 12 volts. I have this open because when I put the cover on it, you can still see through it. And I just, I want to make it so people can see what's going on. I'm very careful. I have all my tools uh, covered with uh, heat shrink so there's no... Uh, zapping this would be your worst zap right here since this is uh 400 volts and that's negative so if you hit a wrench taking this off or that one off yeah it could go bad and get very smoky and it's really hard to get the smoke back in after you let the smoke out of the electronics so that's what i got there i also have my uh charge light right here in the window so i can open up my garage door and look in here and see uh, how it's charging when I'm charging it. So anyway, so that's pretty much uh, it um, For this video, I just wanted to show you uh, That the car is ready. I have pulled it in and out of the garage and stuff because I had to wash it because it looked like hell but um, Other than that We're looking good So here's a shot with the plexiglass in all right, so I can go to a show and open it up and nobody can get their fingers in there. This is the reset button. This is a uh, crash uh, button up here in case you have a crash. And I put a little hole in it to be able to uh, turn it on and off. And I'm a little off there, but you know what? It is what it is. So anyway, so that's plexiglass. So now I'm taking, uh, I'll put the carpeting in and stuff so you can see how it looks with the carpeting in. Looks looks pretty much stock except for the uh, the uh, charger over here. So let's do that. So here's a shot with the carpeting in. Like I said, it looks pretty much stock. So I can still got my trunk I can use for stuff. So I'm pretty jazzed. It turned out really nice, man. I think, you know, but of course I'm partial to the uh, thoughts. So there you go. There's the back. Um, there's number four part or part five is on. This will be part part six. I'm going to put up today for you, but we're ready to go. And like I said, just getting the perimeters right for the motor and stuff like that, getting that set and, um, We'll be driving it. All right. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, it's been a fun project. Went pretty quick. And all righty. Have a great day. Great night. Great weekend. Wherever, whatever you're doing, have have a great time. And hopefully, this motivates somebody to build an electric car because you know it's it's time consuming, but it's not that hard, and it's fun. All right.